Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. In today's video, we are going to be installing Octoprint onto a Raspberry Pi 0W. I'm going to be swapping out my Pi 3s for Pi 0Ws because I can use those CPUs and those boards for arcade cabinets and other projects while these Pi 0Ws will be perfect. So I figured I would take you guys along for the ride and show you how to do so. So the things you will need is a micro SD card, a Raspberry Pi 0W, and an OTG cable, which is essentially a micro USB cable to a female USB 2.0 cable. I wanted to let you guys know also though that if you plan on using a webcam, you will need a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. <clears throat> I recommend a 3 because it has Wi-Fi built in. But the Pi 0W has been working fantastic for running Octoprint, but there has been um, a lot of noted performance issues if you do plan on using the webcam streaming. It just doesn't have the CPU processing power. So aside from the three things that I listed, you will also need a power cable, just a micro USB power cable will do. I will place a link in the description to this random one on eBay, but anyone that you have laying around your house from a phone or a tablet or whatever else uh, will do the trick just fine. So first thing we're going to do is head over to Octopi and download the latest image. I will place a link to the download page. Your version will probably be different than the one um, that is up now, depending on when you're watching the video. But again, you're just going to go ahead and download the latest image. Just like I said a second ago, it does say that the Raspberry Pi Zero is not recommended because of the fact that there is performance issues. However, like I just stated, I have been running this on my machine and it's completely flawless. It's been working very well and it's a hell of a lot cheaper. I picked them up for $5 locally, uh, but usually they go for about 10 and it's a lot cheaper than picking up a Pi 3 for 30 to $35, especially if you've got multiple printers. You're also going to need Win32 disk imager. So you will need to download that. I will place a link in the description for that as well. This will allow us to flash the Octoprint image onto our micro SD card. So you need to download and install Windows 32 Disk Imager. Once you've installed it and you've downloaded the Octoprint image, go ahead and plug your micro SD card into your computer. Then on your computer, once you open up Windows 32 Disk Imager, you're going to need to click and find that image that you downloaded. This is the Octoprint image. Also make sure that you select your micro SD card, you're not overwriting something else, and just go ahead and click write. It'll take a little while depending on your USB transfer rates. I think for mine it took probably five to eight minutes or something like that, so I went ahead and skipped most of the install to save you guys some time and not bore you guys to death with a long green bar. So once the image has finished writing successfully, you should get a little pop-up that says something like write complete and if that is the case then you have successfully written the image onto your sd card as you can see here right successful so then you can exit out and open up your sd card you're going to be looking for a network config file as you can see here on the screen and if you open it up in notepad it will have no formatting formatting it'll look really terrible um, so i recommend using like wordpad or whatever else is built into windows um, there is a note saying that they don't recommend using it because of, again, performance issues, but I've yet to experience any issues, or not performance issues, but issues with formatting. Um, it's worked fine for me. So you're going to go down to the part on here that I show where you have your network uh, SSID and your password, and you need to make sure that you delete the pound signs in front of the three lines like I show you here that basically enables them. And so at this point, you're going to enter in your Wi-Fi network name where it says SSID here. And you're going to need to put your password where it shows password here in those quotation marks. So just go ahead and do that. I show you for an example, I just put network, I think name and password one, two, three as an example, because I didn't want to put my actual network name and password. Um, yeah, so once that's done, make sure you go ahead and save this text file. Just hit control S and eject your micro SD card by actually clicking eject so you don't uh, damage it and we're gonna go ahead and plug everything in so insert your micro SD card into your Pi 0W then go ahead and plug in that uh, cable and you can plug that into your printer actually make sure you insert it into the little slot that says USB once you've done that go ahead and connect your power cable and you should see a green status LED pop up on the Pi 0W. That's how you know that it is working or running. So as you can see here in the top corner, there is a green LED, so we are good to go. 
Now at this point, you're going to have to figure out your Raspberry Pi's IP address. If you go under File Explorer and Network, sometimes it'll show up here. If it doesn't, then you will probably have to log into your router and find it. So uh, for mine, I have to go to 192.168.0.1, and then I can look under my client list and see where it says Octoprint or Octopi is what it'll name it. And I've got three because I've got multiple printers on my network, but I know which one's mine. The latest one I just did is 192.168.0.1. 0.018 and once you enter that into your address bar it will load up it might take a little bit but give it some time and it will pop up and you will be greeted with this setup wizard and it's pretty simple to follow through so I'm just going to go ahead and click next and then create a username and password to log into your octopi and then for this, the keep access control or disable access control, you can read that. I always keep access control. Um, that's just how I run mine and they recommend it for safety, depending on again, what you are planning on doing with your Octopi install. But that should be fine for anyone that just wants to print from their local Wi-Fi network via you know a computer, tablet or something. Then you can import a slicing profile. I don't slice things using Octoprint, um, but that's an option. And then you can name the model. Um, I usually do that because again, I've got multiple Octopies with multiple printers, so that way I can tell which printer uh, you know, I'm dealing with. So this is for the Anet A8. After that, you are done. You may want to reboot at this point um, Octoprint just to um, make sure that it connects with your printer or that it shows that your printer is connected to it. If you get this error, don't worry, just hit refresh and it will fix itself. I did get it like once or twice when I was trying to do different installs, but if you just refresh your browser, it'll be fine. So now I'm logged in and I will connect via the serial host to my printer and then choose the baud rate, which is going to be 115200 or 250000 depending on your printer. Hopefully you know that. If not, try both to see which one works. And you have successfully installed Octoprint, and you are now up and running. You can upload your uh, STLs if you're planning on slicing. You can upload your G-code if you uh, just want to print directly with already pre-sliced files, and you can print away and monitor all of your prints. So... This is how to get it running on the Pi Zero W. I'm really excited that I finally got my hands on like four of these, so that way I can make nearly all the printers that I use wireless. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. And if you've got any further questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best to help you out. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Peace, guys.